everyone, welcome back to my channel. So before I get into today's video, I just want to talk about this background I know. I know it does not look the best. Um, this is, I have an idea of what my background, like what I want my background to be. Um, but right now I can't, you know, do that. Um, so this is like the best I could do for right now. And I know it looks not very nice. Um, I'm not even, I'm not even going to be like, oh yeah, it looks really nice. Like, no, I know it doesn't look that great. But I just feel like it's better than just a plain white wall, you know? I feel like, well, anything I feel like is better than a plain white wall. So that's what's going on here. Um, so yeah, sorry that it looks shitty. Let's just be real, it looks shitty. Um, but yeah, I just feel like it's better than a plain white wall. Alright, so if you can tell from the title of this video, this is going to be my one year update on my contour piercing. Now, I originally was going to make this video because I didn't think any of you guys really wanted to see it, um, but I asked you guys on Snapchat and a lot of you were like, yes, we want to see it, so here it is, um, obviously. Now, I do have notes, so I'm going to be reading them, um, or reading off of them, because if you guys have been around my channel for a while, you know I can just ramble and ramble, and this video can be an hour long of just me pointless talking about shit that has nothing to do with piercings, because I just like to talk, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, just gonna stick to my notes. Alright, so, <laughs> um, right off the bat, I want to say that mine is not tender, it's not painful, there's no pain, nothing. I can sleep on that, you know, ear, and it doesn't hurt or anything like that, um, which is nice. And I'll show you guys a close-up of it, like, towards the end. But yeah, it's doing fine. Um, it's, I will say right off the bat, it is not fully healed, and I know a lot of you are like, but it's been a year. Um, yes, and, okay, so the primary healing for piercings is six months to a year. Six months to 12 months. But what you have to remember that this is a piercing that is just cartilage. There's no tissue to it or anything like that. And cartilage does not have a very strong blood flow, therefore it will take longer to heal. So if you are wanting this piercing, just you have to really be patient when it comes to um, the healing and everything like that. But everyone is different, every body is different. So I mean, I have known people to get piercings you know, that obviously involve cartilage, and they, there's just heal within six months or some shit. Um, I'm not so lucky, but, you know, it's fine. I'm not upset or anything about it. I think it, you know, it'll heal when it's ready to heal. I would say that it's mostly healed, but it is, I know it's not fully healed because it is still getting crusty, um, and, you know, which I don't really care, you know, you just clean it with a Q-tip and it's fine. Um, so if you are wanting this piercing, I wouldn't really worry about it. Just like I said, be patient and let it let it just do its thing. And when your body's ready to have it fully healed, it'll be fully healed. All right. So if you guys remember, if you've seen my like previous updates on this piercing, when I first got it, I got it. Um, the jewelry I had it, it was a CBR or a captive bead ring, um, and I love it. I loved that look of it. Um, but if you guys remember, I had to take it out because it's causing problems. And um, one of you guys. So sorry, I don't remember who it was, but on Snapchat asked me if I could talk about like the, you know what jewelry I personally would recommend, and I would only recommend a um, CBR if your piercing is fully healed, just because it can cause a lot of issues. Um, I had like a bump on mine or something like that, and um, and it was really painful and tender just because you know the CBR would just get like moved around and everything like that. So I would recommend just like a straight barbell. Um, you don't want one that's like too long because your hair will get caught on it and it'll be a real bitch and it'll move around almost as much as a CBR would. Um, or you can get a labrette or labre, however you want to fucking say it, um, bar put in. And if you don't know what that is, it's just like a um, barbell but on one side is completely flat. Um, and so I've had just like the straight barbells and I've had like the labrettes in. Um, and, you know, I haven't really noticed a difference in terms of, like, how it affects my piercing, um, but yeah, so right now what I have in is a, I'm gonna call it a modified barbell because it was just a long barbell that I modified, um, to be more how I wanted it to be, so I will show you guys what I'm talking about. Alright, so, this was a tongue bar that it was metal so I never actually wore it like the top of it was metal and I never wore it because I didn't want to like crack my teeth and I have like three or four other ones that I've done this to tongue bars so I've bent it so it looks like that you guys see that and so this part goes 
right there so that's what you see and then this part's obviously behind my ear so I have just a plain barbell that I've done that to in my ear and my conch piercing so I will show you guys what it looks like so you guys can see it up close now hopefully you guys can see that um I cannot show you the back because I have some extensions in on this side of my hair because I'm still growing out my side cut um so yeah but that's what it looks like um if my ear is red it's because my rope piercing is kind of being a little bitch right now um, which that's that piercing, but yeah, so that's just what it looks like right now. Looks fine, but yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys want an update on my rope piercings, like I said, it's being a bitch, um, just let me know. I think it's gonna be its ninth or tenth month of me having it, I can't quite remember. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want an update on my rope piercing, just let me know, and I will be happy to film it. Um, if not, I will just probably wait and do the year update on it. Um, but yeah, that's really all I have to say about my conch piercing. Um, like I said earlier, if you do want this piercing, just try to remember it's piercing that deals with strictly cartilage, so it will take, you know, longer to heal as opposed to a piercing that's like tissue. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video, and hopefully you will check out my next one.